Hey YouTube, I'm Ross Ross Magas, and I know this is a little bit late, but you know what? I was just feeling kind of listy, and I just, yeah, I guess life happens sometimes, but the reason we are here today is because I'm going to bring you guys my top five most anticipated games from this year's E3 2017. Yes, it is late. Who cares? You guys are here. I'm here. That's what's important here, you know? Just hanging out. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna stop messing around and in no particular order, this is not in, like most anticipated, least anticipated, it's just the five games and at the end I'm gonna have a list of all the get. I mean, not a list, but like a little montage of all the clips of games that didn't quite make the cut and you guys can enjoy. Uh, let me know down in the doobly-doo. Actually, I'll let you guys know which games are down in the doobly-doo. And you guys can let me know what your most anticipated games were in the comments. And without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Number one. Now, this game shouldn't come as any surprises. I just did a whole video analyzing the trailer. But the first game on this list is God of War. And this game looks pretty amazing I'm su I was really surprised because I did get to go to uh, PlayStation held these like really cool it was like at your local theater you could watch the event live um, what was it called their their press event their press conference I guess that's what we call it uh, it was pretty cool so we got to see it and they showed so much stuff and you can watch my video I'll put a little card for you guys right here but God of War just looks amazing I didn't think Kratos could come back in a meaningful way until they showed this last year, I think it was the first time. Um, but it just looks great. It looks like it's going to play awesome. And I can't wait to just rip dudes apart with Kratos again. Number two. Now, I imagine this game is probably everyone's top game right now from E3. Um, it is definitely on my list, and I'm not going to say if it's my top game or not, because it's just one of them. And this is Super Mario Odyssey, and if you're not excited for this, it probably means you don't have a Switch. Sorry. Um, but this game looks amazing. Um, it's Mario. It's Mario at 60 frames per second. It's Mario full control, tilt the way... Well, everyone who's played it talks about it that way. Uh, I obviously don't. I'm not a press member. I haven't gotten a chance to access this game, but it looks amazing. The music sounds great. Um, I'm a little surprised that there are no deaths, but I'm not mad about it. I actually really like that. Excuse me. Not there are no deaths. There are no game overs or like no lives. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. There are no lives, and I'm really interested to see how that plays out. Um, the moon collecting seems really interesting. There's going to be tons of them, and I just want to throw that hat around and possess a friggin' T-Rex. I mean, who doesn't want to do that, right? So, Super Mario Odyssey, obviously on the list. Number three. So this game, it had really heavy vertical slice feel going on to it. But if this game can actually deliver on the promise it seems to be making, this game is going to be amazing. And of course, this is Anthem, which you can see right here. Um, who doesn't want to fly around in a mech suit and like check out the amazing, quote unquote, living, breathing jungle? I'm doing air quotes for everyone who can't see, which is everybody. But there's going to be crazy monsters. I, I can't remember what these little robot alien, who cares? You shoot them, destroy them. Um, Maybe we'll all talk fake chat like they do in this video, but probably not. But this game just looks amazing. The open world looks great. And if it is, it can deliver that experience the way they're talking about it, then there's no way this game's not going to be amazing. It's just, it just seems a little vertical slicey right now. And uh, according to some video on Digital Foundry, I'll put a link for you guys down the doobly-doo. Uh... This game could run, like, it's maybe less vertical slice than it seems. So that's giving me a lot of hope that this game is just going to be killing it. And maybe it will become a new gaming anthem. Uh, who knows? Uh, I'd really like to know why it's called that. Uh, but that video didn't really show very much aside from showing everybody, like, Hey, look, 
We can still do facial animations. Don't hate us. We didn't kill everybody in Mass Effect Andromeda. We're, we're st we still got it. <laughs> yeah, we still got it. So come back, check out the anthem, and you guys will be happy too. We're happy, you're happy, everyone's happy. And we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. <laughs> Number four. So this game, while we were in the preview event at the th our local theater in Chinatown, um, I was really surprised how little people in the audience seemed to react positively. At least the audience who was with me there reacted positively. Uh, my brothers were there and we were all excited about it. Um, this is of course Monster Hunter World. And I have yet to actually play a Monster Hunter game and honestly, it's because it's been on handheld for so long. And I'm not gonna give myself a carpal tunnel to play this game. I'm sorry, it's just not its not gonna happen. So I guess what happened is the power of the Nintendo Switch came to the rescue and people were like, oh, we can't really put this game on here. Thanks, Switch. But as you know earlier, Nintendo brought out Mario, so like the power of the Nintendo Switch is great. You know, it's a weird, who knows? But I'm really excited about this. It looks, it looks crazy, like, who doesn't want to hunt down a T-Rex with a giant sword and a little cat guy who helps you? I don't even know what they're called. They look funny and they're hilarious and cute and all of that good stuff. But you can fight snot T-Rexes, friggin' dragons breathing fire, drop the jungle on top of them. Who knows what's going on in this video? Like so much crazy shit's going on. It looks, it just looks good. And the rest of this just sounds really great. I mean, like. Just looking at it, it seems good. I'm excited and it's coming out early next year, so that's great too. Who knows? Uh, hopefully it won't be delayed too much or delayed at all. You know, fingers crossed there. Or maybe claws and talons crossed. But I'm finally glad that Monster Hunter apparently is back on a home console. Or consoles, whichever one you're going to be getting it on. That can handle the power of a game that like that. Like, you know, it's not just tied to some tiny handheld which I'm sure those games were good don't get me wrong I'm not tr saying those games weren't good but they would have been better had they not been on handheld so let's get the world back and kill some monsters <laughs> number five so this last game is Surprisingly, I was really surprised at myself that this game was actually made it onto this list. Not because, well, actually, mainly because I am not a huge fan of where the show has gone in recent years. Um, I'm, I was kind of like in this place where, you know what, Dragon Ball Z was part of my childhood. It was great then. I've grown apart from it. That's cool. You know, people who like it still like it. You know, whatever. That's cool. Whatever. You know, but... Then they gotta come out and show us this game by the Guilty Gear people and it looks fucking like better than the anime has ever looked apparently like it, it just looks so amazing and the fighting looks like it's just gonna feel like playing the anime too. Um, I'm glad that it looks like they're taking it really seriously it's not gonna be like some no offense to some of the other Dragon Ball Z games that have come out before but a game that the competitive scene can also get into and I'm not a competitive fighting guy player but I do like those kinds of fighters more than you know like your Naruto Ninja Storms or your like Xenoverses and whatever Th those games don't really blah, gel with me and I'm really glad to see this I mean we're all probably going crazy wanting our favorite anime character from Dragon Ball Z to show in there like I mean they've only confirmed Goku Vegeta, Gohan, Cell, Frieza, and Majin Buu. Fat Buu, by the way. Um, and I'm sure everyone's got... Oh, and Future Trunks. But I'm looking forward to this. It looks like it's going to be hell of a good time. And Dragon Ball Z, you know, getting the respect it deserves. So we can't, like, all just pretend that we didn't really like it. Because we all do, you know. Um, but... I'm really confused about the name. I want to know if it's Fighter Z or Fighters, which is kind of a weird throwback 90s thing to me. Like, you know, like I guess that was when Dragon Ball Z 
at least in the States, hit its like heyday, right? So we'll see. I mean, uh, this game, just by looking at it right now, it's going to be pretty good to say the least. And it's Dragon Ball Z. I don't know what else to say about it. Like, that's it. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. Go somewhere else. <laughs> Well, those are my five games. Let me know in the comments what your top five are and if you think I should have checked out some other game more or and why. Why should I like tell me how what hypes you up so I can get hyped up about it too. And let me know. I'll put links to at least I'll list all the games down in the doobly doo and we can engage in the comments. And before we go, I'm Ross Ross Magas. This is not real life. Thanks for watching, and here is a montage of all the games that almost made it onto this list. I'll see you guys next time.